Cloak and Dagger. Let's have a listen. All right, so then in that intro we have uh, four chords, and the bass line is E, F, G, and A flat. Now you can play these chords I'm about to show you uh, anywhere you like. To get it relatively close to the record, then the chords we're going to play are first going to be an, uh, a C over E. So the bass note is E, but we're going to play the bass note here. We're going to make the famous Kershaw chord that we've talked about on the channel a thousand times, right? Right? So it's just the same as usual. You know, on the bottom here you have a C5 chord, and on top you have the E. Okay? Second chord is an F minor 7. Third chord is a C minor 7 over G. So if you have a C minor 7 here, you simply take away the bass note and make the G the bass note. Right. And the fourth chord is an F minor 7 over A flat. So the A flat note here, you can play it on top of this F minor 7 chord. That really is a and um, that's really just almost like an F, uh, an A ma uh, <laughs> an A flat major chord right there. You could also bar everything on the thirteenth fret here from the the D string down and play the A flat here like that, and that gives you like the A minor six or A flat six. Gosh, I'm out of it today. The A flat six chord, right? which is really an uh, F minor seven on the bottom. A flat on top. Either way sounds fine. Right? You can hear they both sound good. So the chords will come in and they'll go like um, like that. Okay, let's listen again. So you can hear it's not an exact you know, it's not an exact sound. Uh, another way you could do these if you wanted to is play them down here. So you can play an E, uh, C chord, and keep that E bass in there, then F minor 7, and then C minor 7 with a G bass, and then uh, F minor 7, right? But then with the A flat in the bass there. So you would get like this. So either way you want to do it, it just depends if you're, I mean, this is not a song I think anybody would ever play out live. Um, it's just too out there. So if you're playing along with the record, I would, I'd play them up here. So then we move into the synth kind of thing. So we're in C minor here. Um, the intro is interesting because it starts in major, right? It starts in a C major. But I think that's cool because it sets up a, a quick change in mood and, and sort of in tonality as well. So it's kind of cool how it opens in major but then goes to minor. So we're in C minor here. And then that little synth, that like ostinato kind of synth riff. Um, what that is is just a C and a B flat. Or C and B flat here with a C octave. Right, it's all that is. And let's uh, play it a little more here and see what else happens. All right, we have a little bass riff, which is just B flat, A flat, G, and F. Alright, now that chord there, really cool, 
is a C minor 9. Just make a C minor 7 chord and add the D note down here with your pinky. Clean this up a little bit here. Hold on. All right, let's listen to that again. You know, not exact, um, but that's a good voicing for it. So just a C minor 7 with the pinky on the bottom there. All right, let's see what else goes on. Right there we have a, um, a an A flat nine. So I'm playing it as a, an A flat seven with the nine on the bottom there. You could mute the uh, the octave A flat here if you wanted to, but um, you know, or that note there actually it's a it's an an F sharp note. If you can mute that if you want, that's what I'm doing. So it's, it looks like an A flat seven, but I'm muting the seven. Get that chord there, which is what he's playing there. Let's listen to that again. That little lick there is E to F to A flat to G. Play it anywhere. Anywhere you want. All right. So let's listen to what happens next. And you got that weird electric guitar kind of going in the background. Um, it's almost like a B flat and an E flat, um, but it's played very. You know, it's just it's just something weird about it. So if you play a B flat sus chord, sus four, on the bottom you have a partial um, E flat chord. Something like that. Um, you can hear. You can hear it's B flat and E flat. So E flat, E flat. So just find a way that sounds good to you. All right, so we got some cool chords here. Let's listen to those again. Alright, so there the chords are F minor 7, G minor 7, and A flat major 7. Alright, let me get some a little bit full humbucker sound here. To a, to a B flat. So you could do power chords. But it's F minor 7, G minor 7, A flat major 7 to B flat. All right, one more time. And then you got that little keyboard riff. Now you could play it like that. I think it sounds better as a bent note on the guitar. And all you're doing is you're bending an F, up, whole step, pull off to the E flat, down to the C. You can also play it down here. 
Oops. Sounds better here. Got a bit more thickness on that string, on the B string. Listen to that again. And then we have a second set of chords, so let's just let's listen to that. Okay, so that second set of chords. So the first set, um, 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 the second part. So the second part, there's an E flat chord kind of hiding back there, uh, or E flat over G. And then you have a A flat, B flat, and then an A flat over C. All right, so let's listen to those those chords there. So let me just find the right spot. Edit. All right, so let's listen to those chords. Uh, edit. All right, let's listen to those chords. Just play up to them here. Hang on. There we go. All right, so there's um, yeah. If you just listen to this, it's hard to explain. Let me just play it one more time. All right, listen here. All right, so it sounds like there's only three chords, but there's actually four. There's a an F uh, blah blah, <laughs> an E flat over G hiding back there, and then we go to an A flat, B flat, and then an A over A flat over C. Okay, so there's your A flat over C, right? So listen to it one more time. All right, so you hear that E flat hiding in there? Right here, listen. Now listen to this bass line here. Right there at the end, he throws in a and a B flat to A, and that A sounds really cool, right? Because it's it's totally out of place in the key of C minor. So one more time. All right. So the whole chorus then. Whoops. Right, so not the easiest song to put on guitar, um, but it's just so cool and I, I think uh, a worth doing a video on because it's just a really weird creepy not weird it's just a creepy sinister song I, even when I was a little kid uh, gosh I mean I got the record when it came out you know and I thought this song was creepy back then and it's still creepy now so you could also play those chords in higher voicings up here um, you know with the F minor chord uh, F sharp minor, sorry the F minor 7 and um, whatever you know, you can play them up here uh, if you want to. It sounds a bit more authentic, but you know, for guitar players, we like these chords up here, so that's why I showed them to you like that. But you've got the chords and you can figure them out anywhere on the guitar that you think they sound good. So, uh, yeah, let's just play through the chords here. All right, now we come to the lead part. I guess you could call this a solo, um, and it's repeated at the end of the song. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll just listen to the chords um, over the solo, and then we'll break down the lead. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so the lead plays, he plays that lead three times and changes it slightly the second and third time. So the All right, let's check out this lead. Really great. Um, pretty much just straight C minor here with one exception. So remember that the uh, first time he plays this, he's just playing it over that, that C ostinato riff, right? That, that thing, which is really just a C chord, okay? Or kind of a C7, but, uh, or a C minor 7. But it's all straight C minor, so you're just in the C minor. You're in the C minor position here, okay? And uh, the tabs on the screen, there's nothing to it, you know? It's all... Really simple, okay? Just follow the tab. There is a... On the second time around, uh, he's playing it. He's playing it over the C over E chord. So he puts an E note in here, which pulls it out of the C minor scale. Right? We're kind of going to C major for a second. So the um, uh, the second time we play this, right? Now here, listen. That part there, that's when he plays that C over E. Okay, so walk up and then grab that C, or that E, sorry. And then C to G, right? And now he, um, he does that too, I think the third time around. He does a double stop upstroke. All right, real, real simple. So the lead isn't hard at all. Uh, you got the tab, and you guys all know the song, so that's really it. So after the lead, let's see what happens. More of the same, right? Back to another chorus. Okay. So another chorus. Let me turn this down a little bit here. All right. And then there's only other one other really significant part. Another chorus. All right. Pause. Another verse. More of the same, really. Ah, uh, listen. So after this, after this verse. Listen to this little bit here.
time. Real simple. I'll put the tab up for that, or it's in the in the download. There's always a. If I have a solo, I usually link a PDF in the or a text file in the description. I don't know if you guys know that, but it's always down there. So yeah. Uh, yeah, that's real simple. And then we just continue on. Another verse, chorus, sorry. Play out on the solo. Yeah, that's it. The rest of the song, all the way out. So that's Cloak and Dagger, a fun one. Thanks a lot. Take it easy.